All right, we're bringing our friend Richard Schlesinger back for a little time on the couch. Yeah, Richard has been doing investigations on 48 Hours for more than 30 years. He started when he was two, and he reports on CBS Sunday morning for the past 20 years. Yeah, we're catching up on some of the stories that have recently aired, including one about Miss Montana, the Miss Montana. And we want you to know what he's working on that hasn't made air yet quite yet. Hi, Richard, how are you? Hello again. It's nice, nice to see you. Guys. Thanks for helping me out with the dogs earlier. Oh, no, you are so welcome. It's great that people know, you know, they might have watched you and loved you and to know that, you know, you belong to Connecticut. I know. It's so I'm, wonderful I'm, to have I'm, you I'm, here. I'm, I'm pr I proudly belong to Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, you know, you mentioned the, the, the Miss Montana story, yeah. which, which was just on a couple, uh, it was about a week ago now. This was one of the best, you know, I'm a pilot, um, and so I love airplanes. This airplane had sat in a hangar as a museum piece for 18 years, they spent a year fixing it up and flew it all the way over to Normandy. Okay. We on the a... way to Normandy, here comes what you're looking for. Okay. On the way to Normandy, they stopped at Waterbury Oxford Airport. You're kidding. Would I kid you? Yes. About, yes, but I'm not. Um, I flew in, in her um, around. We, we, we practiced uh, formation flying with some of the other airplanes um, over like Washington and New Preston and out in that area. Um, and, the, we're up there in, in the sky, 50 feet separating us from the airplane next to us on a crystal clear day. Oh. And it was one of those moments, I'm sure you guys have had these, where I was thinking to myself, I cannot believe they pay me for this. Yeah, <laughs> it I can't it was it. really amazing. We have a clip of, I don't know what part of it, but we have a clip ah. to show. The other thing we did, I'll, I'll just set this up really quickly. We flew up and down the Hudson River on another crystal clear day in Miss Montana and took these pictures. So have a look. Nice. Miss Montana is 75 years old and hadn't flown in 18 years. She was a museum piece in a hangar at the Missoula, Montana airport. They spent more than a year going all over this C-47. Tinkering and tightening, lubricating and calibrating. The goal, fly her all the way to Normandy to help recreate one of the most terrifying and momentous days in military history 75 years ago this Thursday, D-Day. That's remarkable. Yeah. It's what it shows where I know. I thought they were going to show pictures of what's going we on. Have yeah, we, we have some of those. We have some of those. We're going to see that. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at that because it, it was fantastic. What a spectacular look at day. That. So right? that was a day that you went up. Just yeah. incredible. You know, every now and then these... Um, old World War II planes come. I, I know my dad was a B-17 pilot and oh, he got a kidding. chance to go back up in one. And it, 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 it's always amazing to me that they're not as big as you thought and they're so loud. They're loud, they're not built for comfort. Look at that, that's what we saw. So here's the great thing about this trip. You see the Statue of Liberty, uh, uh, when we're circling the Statue of Liberty you now, that's us in Miss Montana. The people who were with me on the plane were, were looking out. I was up in the cockpit, but they were looking out the side, and they said that everybody on the on the island was looking up, up. was looking up at us. Of course, not, <laughs> not, not at the Statue of Liberty. Liberty. So sorry, Lady Liberty, but you know. <laughs> were you at all nervous? No, no, not at all. I don't. It was an uncomfortable flight that day because it was very windy. Okay. Um, and I know I keep trying to drag you up into the air with me. I won't do it on a windy day. You can come too. Come. I anytime. would love to. Uh, not on a windy day. But it was it was uncomfortable. No, I wasn't I wasn't scared. But what's amazing about this is, I mean, you saw the pictures of this thing in the museum. It was a museum piece. It's a really yeah. it sat there for 18 years, and now I, I just checked with them yesterday. They they went from Normandy to Germany because they're going to recreate the Berlin airlift. Wow! So they got all this candy with parachutes on it that yeah. they're going to throw oh over. Oh my God! Throw that's amazing. Anything. Yeah, it's all great. Right. You've Go got ahead. some great things coming up on 48 Hours. Can yeah. you let us know a little bit about well, maybe a case that has you fascinated? I'm, tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting a little bit on this uh, case that's 20-some-odd years old from New York that's really fascinating. The way they solved this case, really, I mean, it, 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 was, it was, you know, perseverance, and, you know, they worked two decades on this case and, and, and finally, you know, had, to, had a little success with it. Um, and you know, for the next season, we've got, we are really excited about some of the cases that we're doing. I, I'm sorry I can't tell you about them because we don't want our com competition to I'll know. I'll get it out of them over dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we have competitors, unfortunately. We don't want them to know what we're doing. But yeah. this stuff is, I mean, I've been doing this, as you said, for 
you know, a few years. Doesn't matter how many, Kara. <laughs> but um, this is one of the best. He seasons. told us to write that. Well, no, you know, what? He's not, I did not do he that. Says that he says that I don't even know him. He says that we're friends. And yeah, I, who, uh, who, who are you? I don't even who know who are you. Are. Well, it's so, always great to see you. I love being here. Thanks yeah. for having. Me. And really, again. Thank you for the dogs. And can I get one more plug in for the What is it? GreatCountryMutt.com? GreatCountryMutt.com. GreatCountryMutt.com. I think. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I got that yeah, right. I'm pretty sure that's Great right. GreatCountryMutt.com. <laughs> June awesome. 22nd, West Cornwall. Beautiful place. Come bring your dog. And every dog's a mutt. And we get to meet you. And, and we you get, get to meet me. Meet me. All right. I'm the master of ceremonies. So All right. You can catch Richard Schlesinger and his very talented co-workers, Maureen Maha, Aaron Moriarty, and Peter Van Sant on, did I say all those names right? Pretty much. All right, good. On 48 Hours, <laughs> airing Saturdays Hanny. at uh, 10 p.m. right here on Channel 3. Scott that was supposed Hanny. to be Maureen Maher. 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 And you can... <laughs> <laughs> You'll also see Richard from time to time on CBS Sunday Morning, a show that is, of course, worth your time each and every week as you have maybe that second cup of coffee. It airs at 9 a.m. right here on WFSB. I need